Hey you right guys, Trey is Joe here, and today we are watching and reacting to episode 5 of Buffy the Vampire Slayer season 4. Um, last episode was very, very good, the kind of haunted house that would disorientate itself and everyone was going like... <laughs> but that was a sick episode and I've just come off Angel as well, which had a pretty decent episode. It was kind of an episodic one, um, but it was still a lot of fun, so I'm excited for this. Uh, episode as well because Buffy just smashing it four seasons in and it's still doing really well so if you enjoy remember to leave a like if you're new and remember to subscribe and of course if you want uncut and early reactions to Buffy, Angel and the other shows that I do the link to Patreon page would of course be down below but for now let's do this. Yep starting off the graveyard our first one of season four I think no actually it's, it's actually our second and the first scene of the first episode was in a graveyard. Oh no this is a dream this is a dream I feel. I don't know what to say. You saved my life. It's everything. Dream. You're everything. Dream. No, gonna... Oh no! <laughs> Why do I feel bad for? Him? I don't even like this guy. Buffy, kill him. No one will miss him. Manifested... They're just showing, re-showing the same scene. What is this? Can you ever forgive me? It looks like Damon Salvatore. I said that before, but <laughs> that was so weird when they re-showed it. I don't what. A fake idea. Oh my god! <laughs> it looks like a porn star. Nothing can defeat the penis. What the fuck was that? Too loud. Very insane. Nothing can defeat the penis. Imagine if that's the next villain. Oh, this guy. Just glass him. Get with this guy. I mean, he's nice. My defense, you do take up a lot of space. Wow, you just I called do. him fat. I, I know she's talking about his muscles and his height. I'm just have to right. clear up because people will actually comment. Like, actually, Joe, you know, this was what she crazy. meant by that. <laughs> wow. Can you not? <laughs> no, no, no. I rudely interrupted, and it sounds like the two of you were having quite. The yeah, so dip out. What the f? You want to tell me about it? <laughs> he's it's actually just... he's actually good at this. Someone needs to hype her up. Come on, dude. I mean. Why are they all like, what's going on? They all just stood there. I guess it's Buffy, so you're gonna be in an aura of Buffy. Like a trance, but shall we lay off a bit? And then Oz is just here by himself. No, there she is. Is that her? Yeah, I think she looks different, but they both have cool hair and they're both wolves. Well we don't know if she's a wolf, but I'm calling it. I'm calling it. I just don't get any ideas. I know she's got cool hair, but let's let's not. She can sing, but Willow can do magic, so I mean... He's getting too entranced by this. Your girlfriend's sat next to you, mate, come on. I'll get away from these crones. Was that who I thought it was? I recognise that actor. Wait, where was Whoa. There'll be no Thomas Aquinas at this table. Keep your theology of providence to yourself. Yep, yeah, that's him, that's him. What's his name? I forgot his name, but... I'm... He's in Designated Survivor. Uh, House. Yep. Epic movie. <laughs> Dresses like Faith, voice like an albatross. Oh, Faith. I miss Faith. I'm suffering the afterness. Oh, she has a hangover. Do you want to talk to Wait, she slept with her more. I went to see Xander. Oh, I saw Parker. Yeah, and she drank with him, surely. Beer. And then group sex. <laughs> Got her face. Oh, oh God. Just I was worried. Lots of beer. I mean, do what do what you, do, do what you want to do, but I would have worried that maybe they'd put some in the beer. Because they've done an episode like that before. I swear they have. It's like that cult of guys. Oh, was well, something in the beer. Something in the beer has made her, like, lose her mind. <laughs> oh, yeah, Black Frost, there you go. <laughs> Boy, I'm having the worst day. You got a light. Xander, now's your time. Oh. Smelly head. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> turned into apes. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, Shy's playing again tonight. Oh, I was Shy? keeping your yeah, bloody yeah. pants. And they asked me to sit in with them. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? An episode of Buffy just being drunk. It's time to go home, Buffy. Well, hopefully they figure this one out quick. I bet it's the other bartender. Okay. Oh, don't talk to this guy, Willow. Slap him up. But I am sorry that Buffy's hurting, and if I misled Go her, tell I her that. To, I didn't Go mean tell it. her that, not Willow. What is this? Okay. Kind of reminds me of when the people See, would turn into hyenas. To $38 and 
Hey, you all right in there? No, he's getting possessed by the Black Frost, whatever the drink's Ready? called. Yo! Oh my god, that's not what I thought was about to happen. He's actually turned into an animal. <laughs> oh no, they're just cavemen. What is this? Some of your patrons are turning into cavemen. They had it coming. Oh, yeah, he did it. I told you. Told you! <laughs> Me, Bez, and George on a night out. <laughs> the beer. Neat, huh? Oh, Rubbing Buffy as well. Like, like I said, he'll realize that no, now. No need. I serve them that beer. He's gonna get run over. Oh, God. Yo! <laughs> And you're about to get killed. Run! You have a car! Run to the car! It's, oh. What's she done? Oh my god. She's gone caveman. <laughs> I mean, she looks kind of badass. You know, sit with. Feeling totally at ease. Willow! My mind. Don't listen to this guy. <laughs> Just how gullible do you think I am? Thank you. <laughs> With your gentle eyes. Oh, uh, correct. Thank what? God for Willow. I tell you, men haven't changed since the dawn of time. <laughs> Go it. Oh, God, and yeah. <laughs> Perfect timing, just to prove a point. <laughs> Jesus! Check down there. We have to find her before someone gets. Well, she didn't go that way, Giles, obviously. Oh my god, you saw she went left. <laughs> and you dip straight out. And great. Great job. Oh, good job, caveman. You've killed us all. Why would you touch that? Oh, she knows how to use a fire extinguisher then. No, she's gonna lob it in, yeah. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Is Willow the one who's... Yo, what the fuck? Okay. Just leap through that, I guess. How would she know how to use sprinklers? And how would she know how to do all this? What the fuck? That was the slowest spreading fire I've ever seen, by the way. It's, like, not spread at all. Oh. Leave him! Crawl, you idiot. <laughs> Yo, if she actually leaves him, that'd be mad. Nah, she's gonna help him. The geopolitical ramifications of <laughs> being mean to me. I don't know. It wasn't that. Great. How convenient. I don't know how to say, say it tomorrow, mate. You were great. She ain't gonna remember it. She's gonna hit him over the head again or something. Yep. It's all like a mile away. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna <laughs> leave him there then. <laughs> what? Um. <laughs> Okay, there we go, guys. That is episode... What episode was that? Five of Buffy Season 4. That was a weird one. That was uh, that was an episode that definitely existed. Uh, yeah. <laughs> first half. The first half wasn't actually too bad. I enjoyed the first half. Uh, kind of Giles getting the bartender job and, you know, Buffy going out. And even when she started drinking the beer, and I didn't think there'd be anything bad with it. Even when she had the hangover, I was like, okay cool it wasn't it was an enjoy, enjoyable episode and then you had willow and oz and obviously something going on there however the second half just completely ruined the episode it was just like a group of teenagers who drank the beer turned into cavemen and were running around and it just felt a bit silly <laughs> buffy's had some silly moments for sure but when it has a silly episode it doesn't always work but then i think of episode like bad eggs that was a very silly episode, but it still kind of worked for me, even though when I did the reaction to that, a lot of people said it's one of the more hated episodes of the show. Uh, this one, to me, was a lot worse, simply because it had such a strong first half, and then to go from like there to way down to here uh, in a matter of minutes, it was, it was a bit disappointing. I think this was leaning towards being like a high 7 or at least an 8, uh, but then the second half to me was kind of like a 4. Uh, it, was just, it was just... I don't know, it's just Buffy running around <laughs> being a cave woman and then trying to save the cavemen and Xander was just doing his thing. So I quite like the now that I think about it, it's kind of foreshadowing with Xander with the lighter, him kind of doing the lighter at the start of the episode and then obviously there was that huge fire at the end. I thought that was kinda of cool. Yeah, overall I probably it was it was gonna be like set high seven, like I said. 
but I'm going to have to give it a... I'll go 5.5 out of 10. I think the second half was a 4, honestly, or even like a high 3. But the first half was good. I like the Oz and Willow stuff and, you know, Buffy kind of still struggling with what happened with that guy. I like that about it. And Willow being there and, like, confronting the guy as well, I thought was a very good scene. That, that was actually a very solid scene in the second half where... Um, Willow is kind of saying how gullible do you think I am basically <laughs> uh, that she wasn't going to fall for that so that that was a very solid stuff with Willow I didn't like that but the second half with Buffy and Xander just really brought it down so I'm debating a six just because of the Willow I'm going to go a six actually because the Willow stuff was really good and she, that scene was in the second half to be fair uh, so yeah I'll go six out of ten for it probably the weakest episode of season four so far and I was surprised because it was on it was on such a roll for like twenty minutes. I was like, "Cool, sick, sick episode, another good one," and then just completely fell off as soon as they introduced the the villain of the episode being beer and that guy doing the beer and then turning him to cavemen. That's really where it just kind of lost lost me. So there you go, guys. I'll go six out of ten. But thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know the episode down below in the comments, and I'll see you next time for episode six. Until then, peace.